Hey guys, what's up? It's Oblivion. <clears throat> um, I'm here, gonna give you guys a quick entry level to <clears throat> building a Giants 10 team. So, <clears throat> as we all know, everyone can build a Giants team. It, it's really not hard. If you have Bernard, Lucian, Shannon, um, Bella, you can easily make a decent Giants team. It may take you three, four, five minutes, but you can build a team. <clears throat> and you can build a team before you're even level 50. <clears throat> I'm not talk I'm not gonna talk necessarily about who you should be building for your four minute team. Uh, but I'm also not going to talk about who you should build right here. Obviously, you can see my speed team is either uh, Double Lucian, Sig, Galleon, and Lin. But there are times where I also run uh, Third Lucian instead of Sig, or instead of Lin, usually instead of Sig, other things like that. <clears throat> Um, we're going to get you guys, show you guys kind of who you can use to build yourself a entry level quicker team. <clears throat> now, first things first, obviously, you can go Theo Mars. He's really easy to get, uh, fairly easy to skill up as well because you could just get the Ifrits between fusion, um, ancient coin, which after you get, after you use the ancient coin on the light ifrit, you pretty much shouldn't use it on another ifrit because you should use it for the other monsters or um, kind of lean closer towards getting the legendary runes and stuff like that. But you can also get it with guild currency. So pretty easy to skill up, does a lot of single target damage, <clears throat> and he's just in general a good free to play monster. It's good for PvE and PvP, he can be very valuable in a lot of rifts, and like I said, very valuable in giants. Um, if you have decent rune quality, and you've gone ahead and you've skilled up Sabrina, she's also a good one that you can use. Um, as far as this is concerned, you don't have to be on Violent. You can be a uh, Fatal Blade, and she'll work fine. And Italia, of course, again, can be on Fatal Blade, and she'll work fine. He's an early fusion monster, so if you're not quite at the point where you need, you can get Sig, but maybe you have from summons, or you just got really lucky and you have the materials to continuously uh, fuse him, then go ahead, put him in your team. Uh, you do want him on swift because you want him fast. Mine's kind of slow because I put attack slot there, but you want him fast and you don't need him super fast for giants, so luckily he's not heavily rune dependent. But you will end up replacing him because he just doesn't hold a lot of value. He's not as strong as some others. <clears throat> Another one that a lot of people underestimate is Megan. Uh, Megan does not need to be six starred ever. You can do everything with Megan as a five star. So you can put her on your team, and she's got really good skills. For example, right here, increase the attack bar of all allies by 20%, and increase attack power and defense. Really good. She poisons, removes one beneficial effect can be good depending on if you're going to be in a drawn out fight. If you're in a 2 minute fight, might, you know, might be pretty beneficial for you. 
Um, I don't recommend any fire monsters, really, because obviously elemental disadvantage. So we're not even going to talk about fire monsters. Some people use Hua in there. Um, and if you are struggling, it is an option, but it's not an option I personally would recommend. <clears throat> you can use Katarina in there. Uh, another fusion monster, heavy hitter. But uh, as I said in my previous videos uh, for uh, about fusion monsters, she's one that I wouldn't start off with and as far as fusion is concerned so I probably wouldn't put her in there she doesn't add as much value in there as Sig does so unless you just got really lucky and you happen to get all the pieces for Katarina and none of the pieces for Sig and you know you couldn't work it out whatever it may be then I guess you can go her but I I, necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily go for it. Um, here's another one. <clears throat> Very good. Very good. He's got an AoE. And he attacks... So he attacks all enemies, increases the attack power and attack speed. And when this is on cooldown, your attack speed is increased. And you'll recover HP. Very useful. <clears throat> um, I've seen him built... Um, different ways obviously fatal blade is one way that you can do it um, I've also seen him put on despair that's just really your call I personally would say fatal blade is the way to go very easy early game to get fatal blade runes and you're more than likely going to be building other monsters on despair like Beretta so you're going to want those runes kind of going towards Beretta rather than uh, him. But you do want to build decent monsters for giants as soon as you can. <clears throat> if you need heals and you pull her, she's okay. I still would choose Bella over her, personal opinion. Um, you don't need the massive amount of heals that she's going to provide. You don't need the attack hopefully you won't need the attack boost because you have him and he you can get him and his skill ups from guild shop and from summons so he's very easy to obtain <clears throat> Lucian another great option probably the MVP of uh, giants so like I said there are times where I run three Lucians it happens uh, and it is actually a pretty fast clear <clears throat> so there there is something like that that you can look forward to uh, and Lucian seems to be pretty common also you can get his skill ups from fusion pretty easily or no sorry no you yeah you want to get right here pretty easy um, I think only one of them is not farmable. So, well, I have a ton of them, but <clears throat> so yeah, he's pretty easy to get, fairly easy to obtain, and uh, his skill ups are pretty easy, pretty common. Bernard, who I actually uh, took runes off of just recently but he's really just the entry level team MVP uh, <clears throat> you want to build him tanky and fast so you want to go speed slot too uh, and then you can go HP defense or HP HP whatever whatever you can for these two uh, that are going to be supportive roles because you really want him to be tanky He's going to increase the... He's going to do a defense break, which is great. And he's going to uh, lower their attack power. Which, also, very good. But then he also provides this, which increases your allies' 
attack bar and their attack speed. So basically, Bernard is your, your step before him. So before he comes along, if you don't have him, everybody has a Bernard. If you don't have a Bernard, you just, I don't know, you didn't play the game because they give him to you. And they give him to you in an awakened version. So like I said, very easy to obtain. All you have to do is just play the game and you have one. Skill ups are also very common. You can farm for them. Um, and on my, <clears throat> for me personally, I will spend time in channel 2626 just summoning um, secret dungeons. So like Fire Day, which today is Fire Day, the day I'm recording this, that is. Uh, I'll spend time in 2626 so that people can get the skill ups to for Bernard and so that they can also get Spectra and build Spectra for TOA. <clears throat> another one, another free to play monster that a lot of people are using right now is Lauren. She does a defense break, she strips. The only bad part about Lauren, um, I would say is that she does multiple hits which causes the boss to do his counterattack faster. And if you don't have a tanky-ish Lauren, she get, if she gets hit, she's pretty much dead, right? So <clears throat> it, it's a hard one to say, but she is very useful. And a lot of people are building her. Fran, if you do find yourself needing a healer and you haven't had luck getting Bella dungeons or whatever. Fran is an acceptable person to put in. Very good for early level because Fran can replace Vero in pretty much all aspects. Vero cleanses your units. Well, her skill two cleanses and heals for more than Vero's heal. And her skill three, uh, Grants immunity for two turns and attack power buff. Plus it heals. So there you go. And then her uh, her skill one, very useful, has a chance to reduce the attack bar of the enemy. And it increases decreases their attack power. Very useful. <clears throat> Fran, you're going to want to build kind of tanky. I have mine on speed attack HP this attack will be replaced in just going HP. So it will eventually be speed, HP, HP. Because ideally you want more HP than that. Yes, yes, I understand that all her healing is based off your attack power. Not worth it. Not worth it because she's super squishy otherwise she's a nat 2 or a nat 3 whatever she gets hit she's gonna die you gotta make sure she's tanky you want a lot of HP on her <laughs> then you've got Bella <clears throat> Bella is phenomenal and there's so many different ways that you can build Bella to make him even better um, Bella's not super rune dependent. You don't need the flashiest runes, the greatest of runes. You can put six energy on her, on him, and you're going to do fine. Um, I don't have mine built, but it's speed, defense, accuracy. Uh, I would actually, if you're early game, I would either go speed here, depending on the rune quality of the slot two, if it has good subs, like defense and HP. And then I would go defense, HP. Because you do want a tanky Bella, and then you do want to work on second awakening Bella. It doesn't matter if you can only do level one, two, or three, that's okay. If you can only do the, or the entry levels for the dimension hole, that's fine. You have 100 free energy just sitting there use it <clears throat> if it takes you forever to get a bella that's okay 
you second awaken Bella, and now you have a monster that is got f uh, nat five stats. So all of its stats go from being a nat threes to its base stats being a nat five. That's incredible. And this will reduce um, attack bar, which is fantastic for you. This will increase your attack bar. And then, of course, this just kind of stays the same. But his heals are already very good. So that's okay. Let it stay the same because it's already a very good heal. Very easy to build. There are different ways to build. You can do energy. You can do guard. You can do uh, swift. <clears throat> you can do um, vio. There are just so many options for Bella that make him, that's what really makes him unique, is early on, it doesn't matter if your runes are the best of the best. You could still take him in there, and he's going to do fantastic things for you, especially once you second awaken him. <clears throat> Which, speaking of second awakening, you have Crow. If you end up... Say you find yourself to where you're just not doing enough damage. Crow, you just put a couple uh, debuffs on the boss, Crow's going to go in there and just annihilate him. Um, I'm actually looking at building my Crow properly here soon, because, I mean, once you get him to a certain level, he's just going to destroy everything. Crow's great. In giants great in dragons um, crow can be used in necro don't recommend it crow is great for rifts crow is very strong I've seen him very strong in raids uh, only place I wouldn't use crow necessarily is necro and PvP he's not a very good PvP monster too much build up if you don't have a bunch of debuffs on the person, he's not going to do optimal damage, what's the point? But he's another free-to-play option. Unfortunately, unlike Bella, I wouldn't use him unless you second awakened him. Once you've second awakened him, he's very incredible, and that's when I would use him. Until then, I wouldn't really use him, but he can be on Fatal Blade very easily. You... Early on, you'll want to go attack, crit damage, attack. <clears throat> um, if you don't have very many crit damage runes, you can go crit rate until you get more crit damage runes. But eventually, you will want to put him on crit damage. And depending on where you're at, you could also put him on speed, crit damage, attack. But that'll be later on because your rune quality is going to need you to put him on attack crit damage attack. <clears throat> um, like we mentioned before, there is Vero. He's a very entry level uh, dragons and entry level giants monster. He's good. I wouldn't say he's great, but he is good. And he's free to play. Um, another one that is also easy to scale up because he's a fusion monster. Uh, just takes a lot of farming, which you're doing anyways. But I personally, at this at this point, I wouldn't necessarily grab him. I would focus more on someone else, like uh, like Fran. <clears throat> um, let's see. This is another very good monster that can be used temporarily in uh, giants uh, again fatal blade or swift blade because his attacks do go off attack speed so you'll want to go attack speed crit damage and attack um, and then with that he's very easy to skill up he's a you know, his skill-ups are fusions, so you can go and you can skill him up pretty easily. Um, and skill-ups do matter. And you want to be careful on who you use your Devilmons on. 
For example, don't use your devil wands on lapis. Um, Lin, <clears throat> another really good one who's going to be easy for you to skill up and who's going to be very easy for you to entry level build up. You want to go for entry level, you're going to go Fatal Blade, you're going to go attack, crit damage, attack. She does not need to be fast, she's going to be the last person who goes. Uh, this one's actually my poorly ruined one. Um, better ruined one is here. <clears throat> you want as much crit damage and crit rate on her as possible. You can sacrifice a little bit of attack for the crit damage. Uh, and it's very important that she is max skilled. <clears throat> um, then there's other monsters like, obviously, Lapis. You're going to get a Lapis. She's free. You just get her. Um, and she's very good early on. And she's even actually pretty good for as far as like a Faemun farmer, uh, a Retmon. <clears throat> for her, you're, I would go Fatal Blade until you get the um, either Despair set that you can put on her or a Vampire set that you can put on her. Vampire and Despair are both pretty good on her because everything is AoE. So she's constantly dealing AoE damage, constantly getting that extra bit put in. And she can be very, very valuable early game. Uh, late game, she's not as valuable. She doesn't offer as much. Uh, mid game is the same thing. She's not quite as valuable because she doesn't offer quite as much. But she can still be used for fun little things. <clears throat> so I would, build, I would recommend building her for sure. Uh, do not use devil mons on her. Your dark harpy. <clears throat> this monster is actually going to be a crucial monster for you later on because she provides a lot of support in helping you just decimate dragons. If you go and you look at some a lot of the top clear people, a lot of them will have her in there. She's very strong, she's very useful, very easy to get, very easy to build. So now we're going to talk about Sig, <clears throat> who is all the way up here. And then we're going to talk about Mr. Galleon. So Sig is a very useful monster because all he requires is high crit rate and high attack percent. Uh, some people like to build him a little tankier. I personally have him a little tanky, but really he's in there to just pummel people down. And that's what I want him for. I want him to just knock him around a little bit. You want to go attack, crit damage, or crit rate if you can't find the crit rate elsewhere, and then attack. The reason you want max, as close to max crit rate as possible, it doesn't have to be 100, but you want it over 90, is because of this. It attacks all enemies, inflicts damage based on, the, on their max HP, and decreases their attack power for two turns, freezes them for one turn if it's a critical hit. So if you have high crit rate, it's going to be guaranteed to get a critical hit, making it a stun. So if you're slow, you know, you're moving at a slower pace early on and you kind of need um, some support, some CC, so that you can take the monsters down, well there you go. <clears throat> Every four turns you can just freeze them for a turn. And then if you have other people like Lapis built on Despair, then you're also getting other stuns from that. Um, I recommend going um, anything that'll get you that max crit rate. For example, I am Fatal Broken, but you can go Fatal Blade because I understand that early on you're gonna, that 
extra 12% is crucial. Like it'd be so valuable. So go ahead and go with that fatal blade and kind of get them up there. Then we've got Galleon. Now, he's fantastic in here for a couple reasons. One, he provides an AoE uh, attack buff for all of your monsters and an AoE defense break for all of their monsters. You So because of that, and because of his skill 2 uh, decreasing the enemy's attack bar, you want high accuracy on him. You also want to build him a little tanky, and very important, you want him to be the first person to go on your team. So he needs to be the fastest on your team. So you go speed, crit damage, HP if you need it because you're not really having him there for damage necessarily. He's there to provide others. He's there for the support role. So you can go HP, defense, whatever. And then I have him on accuracy. Again, that's another one. HP or defense. If you don't have an accuracy rune, I just wanted to get as close to 100% accuracy as I could get, especially since I use him in PvP. So it was really important for me to get him as high accuracy as possible. <clears throat> uh, there are some monsters that I personally wouldn't bring in. For example, Stella, very easy to get, very free to play, but all of her attacks are multi-hits. So if you're doing this and you get seven attacks, the boss is just going to attack her and kill her. So she may do massive damage right off the bat, but at what cost? Because you just lost your damage dealer in immediately. Um, I think it's the like one of the few places that she doesn't shine is giants, dragons, and necro. <clears throat> she just doesn't offer enough. Um, and so for that reason, I wouldn't actually bring her in there. Just, like I said, there's just a few free-to-play monsters that I wouldn't necessarily um, bring in, even if I had them. <clears throat> so, and then there are, of course, other monsters that I don't currently have in my inventory that I can share with you. Let's just go straight to the Awakened. So first of all, Shannon. Very easy to get. And you can second Awaken her. I don't recommend it, but you can do it. Very easy to get, though. <clears throat> so, uh, for Shannon, I would build her uh, full support. You're going to want her to go kind of fast because she gives out the buffs. So you can go Swift Energy, if that's what you've got available. Um, also, if you just have a lot of luck, like for example for me, on one of my alts, all it seemed I would get was Energy, so I just put her on three Energy sets. So she was rocking out all the health in the world. You want her tanky because you don't want her dying. She also debuffs, which is great. <clears throat> and then, you know, her little buff. So you really want to look at these things and figure out what you can do. Um, she's easy to skill up. She's easy to rune because she doesn't require a lot of runes. She has a second awakening if you want. I, again, I, I wouldn't. She's just going to be replaced, so I wouldn't necessarily do it, but you can do it. She is available. Um, and then you've got, of course, like I said, Bernard. Um, a lot of people do like to use him because he's very tanky. I feel that he brings the, uh, the team down because he's so slow. He doesn't do a lot of damage. 
his damage is all based on his missing health, which you don't necessarily want a half dead monster sitting in there. Uh, but he does have a second awakening, and his second awakening is actually pretty decent. So, you know, if you do plan on second awakening, and you say you already have Bella done, and you already have Crow done, and, um, you know, you've got, I don't know, Fire, uh, Roke, and you're just like, who do I need now? He's not a bad one. Um, Wind Kitty, from what I hear, Second Awakening is actually pretty decent in there. I haven't tried her out. I don't think I will try her out, but that's just a personal opinion. Like I said before, Lucian, very good. Um, I'm not going to show you guys too many of the LDs because let's be real how many of us really have a ton of random LDs sitting there early on in the game um, as far as these are concerned I don't know if I would necessarily bring too many of them in um, Megan which we already talked about they just don't add enough uh, as far as Giants is concerned and there's better options <clears throat> and there's better options across the board um, here's another one can be good but I don't know if I would necessarily bring him in because again multiple hits he does absorb attack bar which is nice he does strip which is also nice but Bella will strip if need be and is a single target is a single hit plus a heal. So these are just some of the different monsters that I would recommend. Um, these two, despite the fact that they are gonna hit multiple times, are also very valuable. Um, oh, one that I didn't show you because I actually don't have him right now uh, I think I needed him for food so <clears throat> he's very good for AoE clearing if you get one before Theo before Tessa whatever uh, he is very good in Giants for clearing purposes uh, his skill 3 does damage based on the amount of debuffs so say you put a galleon in there with him well that's an instant automatic boom he's got debuffs and then you got somebody else in there providing a debuff or two uh he'll go in wipe them out uh i've seen very fast clears with him uh, as far as 30 second clears etc etc he's very good harder to build but he is very good. Um, you can go Fatal Blade, attack, crit damage, attack on him. Because you just want him to nuke down the waves to do it as fast as possible. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to show you guys any of the, you know, pay to win. I'm not going to explain any of the pay to wins that you can use. Um because not everybody has them. This is a generalized video. More targeting the newer players. <clears throat> Plus, some of the best Giants teams are free to play. This is 100% a free to play team. Why would I not use it? And don't get discouraged if you have a team like this, for example, and you end up wiping every you know maybe you're at 90 percent don't get discouraged make some tweaks figure some things out once you get to a point where you're doing 30 second runs you're gonna wipe or your galleon's gonna derp and is going to use his aoe right then and there and do nothing for your whole team because he likes being useless or he's gonna derp and do it then 
<clears throat> so that you don't have it for the boss fight and it is what it is <clears throat> some sometimes things just happen and wiping does happen a lot on these stages a lot when you're even in, at my level there are times that I I wipe or that I get 46 seconds or 39 seconds it's not always a 25 second clear so yes you may see people with 18 second clears that doesn't mean that it's always an 18 second clear keep that in mind okay so don't get discouraged if you're you hit you know one minute and 20 seconds but then the next time you hit one minute and 50 seconds and then you go again and you hit a minute and 30 seconds just know that your your average just put on like 10 seconds to your fastest time and that'll be around your average anyways guys <clears throat> those are pretty much your ideas for um, doing Giants my strongest recommendation for you is go get Bella very easy you just get the SD farm farm him out and get him second awakened go do that because he's going to be incredible for you later on go get crow it's also another really good one that'll help you out don't underestimate your guild shop um, my guild shop right now has garbage in it but you can get pieces for the barbarians you can get the pieces for them and you can make the wind one very easy water very easy fire is useless don't make him uh, we'll make him get the pieces because he's free food he's easier skill ups for those guys don't use devil mons on those guys and if you can do that and you'll be fine uh, one team that I can recommend <clears throat> I guess I'm gonna lag now for no reason which is fantastic but early on you can go Lapis Bernard Shannon Bella and then it doesn't matter um, it really just it doesn't matter who you use after that uh, you can use a Fran it's very easy to skill up and then that team will should be strong enough to clear everything uh, it's a lot of support so it's gonna be slow but if your lapis is built properly you can take out the Fran and you know you can add something else in something damage wise because you have Shannon in there who's giving the attack buff um, already so go in there and get adventurous guys play around with your monsters don't settle and just because you get a crazy nat 5 doesn't mean that that nat 5 is going to be crucial for you in there if you get uh i don't know sea emperor fire sea emperor right he's not going to help you with giants he's not going to help you in dragons so don't worry about him if you're still in Giants and you're farming Giants, it's fine to not build a Nat 5 that's going to be useless. Only worry about the ones that are going to be useful to you and that are going to really take things down. Because otherwise, you're just going to sit there and you're going to waste your time thinking, you know, oh, well, I can't do it. When you can, you can do it, guys. You just need to keep trying and playing around with your options and work on different strategies very crucial to build the monsters that are free to play that are just given to you from secret dungeons um, hall of heroes summons stuff like that just go and build these guys that are easy to get anyways y'all i'll see you guys all in the next one uh this weekend i will be hosting uh this weekend till I think the 20th of February, I will be having uh, a weekend streams that are all going to 
be donation streams. It's all going to Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, that foundation means a lot to me for many reasons. And I do think that it's a great opportunity to help the kids in need. Plenty of kids get sick out there. And it's just, it's tragic. Let's go, let's help them by providing them something that, you know, they couldn't have got otherwise. So catch me on Twitch. Uh, you're going to see the link down below for, or not the link, but you're going to see my Twitch name down below. You'll also see the guys from my Twitch, uh, my stream team down there. Go uh, follow us, watch the streams, donate. Uh, it's all going to a good cause. It's all going straight to make a wish. Um, really appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.